Hi, Gene here. I've had a couple of people ask me about the four count draw stroke. A couple of our students and a couple of viewers have asked to do a video specifically about the four count draw stroke. Um, the draw stroke, I've seen it done as many as seven different steps to a draw stroke. Four, I think, is where I like it. It's the minimum and, it, and keep it safe and simple. Makes it easy. Don't have a lot of time to waste. Why worry about all the extra movements? Harder to learn, harder to maintain. Four counts is all you need. Your draw stroke has to be safe, consistent, and quick because you don't have a lot of time in a gunfight. You need to get that out, that gun out, get it out, get it on, get it over. Yeah, I stole that from Dan. Um, you've also got to master your draw stroke. Master the draw stroke. Must be it must become ingrained so it becomes a natural motion. Some people call it mu um, muscle memory. It's not muscle memory. If muscles had memory, I'd look like I did in high school when I played football. I wouldn't look like like this. Okay. Um, remember, professionals do it until they can't get it wrong or until they don't do it wrong. Amateurs do it until they get it right. Be a, be a professional. Master it. That's what you need to do with the draw stroke. The... Uh, for on, oh, say, okay, back to the four count draw stroke. Count one, get your master grip. Get, uh, by the way, before we go any further, needs to be guns empty, magazines empty, no bullets, no, no projectiles, it's empty, all ready to go. Guns empty. My um, other mags here, both empty. By the way, this is my training rig. That's why I've got two guns on either side. I'm going to demonstrate, but anyway. Training rig. All right, so uh, uh, count one, master grip. Get a full grip on your gun. Uh, web of the hand is high on the back strap. Uh, won't have time to, to readjust it if you have to in a gunfight. Get that full master grip. Uh, primary, uh, primary side, elbow back. Don't do it out. Kind of offers too much of a target. So from a, from a conversational stance, hand back, full master grip. Uh, at this point, we disengage any safety devices. This is a Safari Land ALS holster, so I've got that little button right there. Gun won't come out if you don't tab it. So grab that uh, disengage retention device. Uh, support side hand or reactionary side hand uh, goes right here in this what we call the what we call the nipples to nuts position anywhere from here to here anywhere you're more comfortable down here do it down here I like going right up here right up top of the of the abdomen just underneath the solar plexus uh, remember this this hand is available for a distraction strike for blocking this is your reaction side or distraction side this is that's this sole purpose right here is to be able to block the so we got the master grip position one right here count two draw the gun quickly to a high tuck position or a high tuck position this is your first fighting position draw up to here this helps prevent retention hand comes in for the gun just shoot fire if you're if we're at bad breath distances and I can smell your breath if I have to go to guns right here I can shoot from this position so this is your first fighting position. At this point, if you're using a gun that has a manual safety, the safety comes off. Uh, we can't the gun slightly outward from the body. The way I like to describe it, I want to feel this part and this part of my hand against my body. It gives me two reference points. It lets me know, almost uses my, my upper body as a turret. It let's me engage targets. If you're close to me, I know about where I'm going to hit a target from right here because it's right out in front. The old speed rock you come right over the holster and do that if you're drawing your gun out right here the guns pointed down I may destroy my opponent's will to live by shooting off Skippy and the twins but I'm not gonna end the fight I hit him down to the abdomen maybe a little bit lower not a not where I want to be also if I'm in a seated position if from a seated position all I'm doing is blowing the tacos off the table because I like tacos I'm probably eating tacos so you, you want to get up that high tuck position right here I'm going to hit my opponent high chest. It's going to work for me. Uh, another benefit to having the gun slightly out like this, um, it gives me that turret position so I know about where I'm going to hit. It pushes any clothing, a jacket, shirt, pushes it into the body. It also, if I come straight up and down, 
this part of the slide may impact my body, which may induce a malfunction. Uh, ladies, you're going to appreciate this a whole lot more than us guys. Don't put the gun straight up and down, even out to the side a little bit. It's going to nick body. It's going to, one, hurt, two, induce a, malf a malfunction. And in a gunfight, you don't have time for malfunctions. Uh, count three. So we're at one, two. Three is the marriage of the hands. This is where the gun punches out to the target and you start, in, in get, start pulling the trigger. When you're, as the gun's punching out, I've made that commitment to fire, that decision to fire because I'm punching out. Now my finger goes into the trigger and I start engaging target. Uh, if, it's, if, you're, if you have the time to make a full draw stroke and it may not need to go to guns right away, I may, I may pull out to a low ready position, at which point my, gut, my finger is not engaging the trigger. Low ready position down to the base of the target giving my challenge commands. Finger stays off the trigger during that uh, part of the draw stroke, that position. So, one, two, three, punching out, four, I'm engaged, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm on target, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm eliminating my, I'm finishing my threat. Or I'm down here going, doing uh, challenge commands, like I said. Once the threat is neutralized, ask yourself, ask yourself is, your, is he down? Is he out of the fight? Does he need more hits? Take about a second, second half. Make sure he's not going to pull Jason and rise from the dead and re-engage you. Make sure he's out of the fight. Maybe he's on the ground, the ground doing the trout, whatever. Confirm he's down. Are you down? Are you out of the fight? Do you need more hits? Pull the gun back into your uh, power position and start scanning. Look around. Look all up. Look down. Look all around. Make sure there's no more threats coming your direction. Once that's done, Take a deep breath. This position here, you want to bring it back down into a, a position, your workspace. The, you know, I've got more power. This gun's right here. This is my workspace. I can resist. I can look. One of the things I don't like doing is I don't like the the sweeping the fence. The or I'm sorry, painting the fence. I don't like sweeping the, the gun back and forth. If if you're going to be out here and you're going to make sure the target's down. Bring the gun in as needed to look over your shoulder. Don't do this. You may be pointing the gun at people that don't need a gun pointed at them. Remember, we never point a gun at anything we're not willing to destroy. You may be pointing at innocents. You may be pointing at other law enforcement or other armed individuals who may interpret your movement as a threat. If you point a gun at me, I'm not going to be happy about it. If I'm off to one side, you just engage that target. I don't know your intent. Once your fight's over, so I'm going to draw my weapon to a low ready or high tuck position. I'm going to get ready for, um, to figure out what you're going to do. If you turn and point that gun at me, I'm likely to engage. Just back to life. Got to get ready for that. The once So one, two, three, out on target, out of the fight. Scan, look for buddies. We reholster reluctantly. There is no hurry to reholster. We can keep the gun out as long as we need to. Once law enforcement or the cavalry arrives, once they give you commands, follow their directions. But if I need to keep, if I'm not sure you're out of the fight, and I got to make, I'm going to keep you down. I'm going to keep you on the target. I'm waiting. Once somebody comes at this point, I may set the gun, the gun down on a on a surface or drop it if they tell me to drop it. Don't like dropping it, but if they tell me to, I will. We keep the gun here in a, in a retention position or in a position stool. Body da uh, down, not pointing at the body, but pointing in that safety circle. So once I come down, I've scanned, I've looked for his buddies. Fight appears to be over. What's the condition of my gun? Am I at slide lock? If I'm at slide lock, the first thing you do is you reholster your gun. You, I'm sorry, reload your firearm. And if it's if it's at slide lock, that's a dead little soldier. I get rid of my get the next one and I'm ready to go. The uh, so firearms position retention or position tool. I've scanned. No more bad guys sneaking up on me. At this point, I'm going to decock the gun, engage the safety as needed, and uh, just prior to reholstering, I'm probably going to reload my gun and then and scan again. Scan again. Always scan. Keep your head on the swivel. Keep going. Once you reholster the gun, this is where your retention device, if you've got a strap, re-engage the, the retention devices. Uh, the ALS, of course, doesn't need one, but if I had the hood over it, I'd throw the hood on. Or if you've got a holster with um, safety straps on it, 
re-engage your safety strap. Put everything back to where it needs to be. Okay. Final thoughts. Last thing you need to remember. Practice. Practice, 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 practice. Start slow. One, two, three to four or up to the target. Uh, start slow. Speed will come. The more repetitions, the faster you'll get. Dry practice works. Make it work for you. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is breathe. It's hard, believe it or not, it's hard to breathe, breathe in a gunfight. You're going to hold your breath. Oh my God! You're going to engage your target. You're going to be holding your breath. Once that target's down, whew, remember to breathe. Breathing, actually, believe it or not, breathing is important. The, um, so there you go. Practice, start slow, speed will come. Do dry practice. Practice with an unloaded weapon engaging your target. Practice. Practice will help, believe it or not. There you go. So, there you go. The four count draw stroke. If you like what you saw, do me a favor. Uh, like us on Facebook or follow us on... No, like us on Facebook. Like or follow us on Facebook. Um, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Try and put these out. Try and make them not quite so long-winded, but I'm not good at that. Sorry. So, regardless, always remember, hope is not a strategy.